But here's what happens, isn't it? The first thing is that you think of something that you think will make you happy. And you say to yourself, ah, I can see there's a good idea. I would really like that. That would make me really happy if I had that. If I had that re a great relationship or a good business or if I had a holiday or a trip or I went to a certain place or I lived in that or in a certain type of house, whatever it was, you've decided that or your brain, you've come up with an idea of something that you think will make you happy. And obviously to make you happy is the purpose of why you want it. Pretty obvious, isn't it? And the next step is after you've thought of something, you thought, well, that would make me happy if I got it. Then you decide that you're going to get it. And you say to yourself, I'm going to work towards that. I'm going to try and get that. That's something I want and I want to have it in my life. So then you start to work towards it. And you try to figure out how am I going to achieve this goal? What do I need to do to get that? What actions do I need to take? What information do I need? And that's what you start to do. You start gathering information and you start trying to figure out what you need to do. All right, all pretty logical so far, pretty clear. But what happens next in your steps or in your journey towards reaching your goal? Well, the next thing that usually happens is you start to feel doubts. You start to feel uncertainty. You start to say to yourself, will I really achieve this goal? Maybe I won't. I'm worried about what might happen if I don't. Is it really going to happen? So you have this doubt, this uncertainty. And what happens as a result of your doubt and uncertainty? What's the next logical thing that happens? Well, what happens is those doubts, that uncertainty, they begin to affect what you do towards reaching your goal. So you hesitate to do some things. You start to evaluate and say, is that the right thing to do? I better make sure it's the right thing to do. I better figure it out and work it out. And instead of taking action, you don't take action. And on the other hand, another thing that happens when you start to have these doubts and, and fears, really, and worries that you might not achieve your goal or uncertainty, is you start to do the wrong things. You start to do things on impulse. And you think, oh, I better do that. I need to do that. And you don't really think about it and you just do things and you just hope that they're going to work out all right. And of course, what happens is then you find that the path that you started on, that you thought would just be a clear path to, to reaching your goal, you start to find it's not so smooth after all. It's got problems, it's got distractions, things that get in the way, things that interfere. And all of a sudden your goal, instead of being a journey that, of certainty that you know you're going to get to and, and you believe that it's all going to work out well, you're getting bogged down in all of the stuff that seems to be taking away from reaching your goal.